Hey everyone, I'm here at SHOT Show 2018. I am at the MSR booth talking with Ryan Hicks from Fime Group. As you guys know, I've been testing out a lot of the A-Rex Rex-01 pistols. I bought my own one. I got the Rex-01 Compact first. That was really my first experience personally with it. But I'd seen a lot of videos, ones that Polar Tactical had done, ones that uh, Military Arms Channel did, where they did the full torture test, comparing yep. it to the Legion. And I think that's where the popularity of it really took off, because people it saw, it helped a lot. I mean, wow, this gun, no one ever really heard of it. No one knew what was going on. And here it is outperforming pretty much all these known reliable guns. Exactly. Um, so as soon as I saw that, I knew I had to pick one up. So I got a compact of my own, was super impressed with it. As you guys may know, I'm not really big on double action, single action uh, handguns. I'm mostly a striker fired guy. So I was kind of hesitant to go into the hammer fired stuff, but the ARX Rex-01 was a great way for me to kind of get integrated into it because as far as I'm concerned, it gets pretty much everything right as far as double action, single action goes. So just really quick, um, my experience with other double action, single action guns, say the SIG 226, the way they uh, have like the slide lock and all that, my thumb always rides it. I know that's a training thing, but slides weren't locking back. For me, it just wasn't as much fun to shoot at that point. Whereas the manual controls on these things, again, get it right. If you want to know more about that, by all means, check out my reviews. I don't want to take up too much of this booth time to talk about my own personal experiences with it. But uh, Ryan, can you talk to us a little bit about your compact series of pistols? Yes. Uh we got this set up as a compact table. Okay. It's basically showing a variation of all we have now. Overall, we have about 32 different RXQs on the market now. Added over 20 over the uh, end of December. Okay. So, you know, we got our, our base model, our standard black. Mm -hmm. We got our flat dark earth. We've got OD green. We only brought 500 overall, 250 compact and 250 standard. And we do now have OEM installed G10 grips as an option. Which is awesome. Um, as you guys know, really my only complaint with the original model that I tested out was the, the grips were okay, but they left a little bit to be desired as far as you know really being able to lock down on that grip. You guys new, now have newer grip panels that yes. feel significantly better. Um, right now I'm working on a review of the Rex-01 Tactical, which we're gonna see in a second. Um, but I've been testing out that new grip and it feels a lot better. Yeah, it's definitely more rigid. It's still polymer. It's got a new design on it. Uh, definitely more contour overall. RX Listen, they did change it. Mm -hmm. You know, they went from, you know, a standard is, you know, a bit flimsy. Sure. Um, upgraded to this. All new models will come with this new grip. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, this is one of the new models as well as a nickel plated PVD slide only. Okay. But we also have that option as a full nickel plated frame, slide, and barrel. Okay. And this is a set of aftermarket walnut Ooh. grips. Looks nice. That looks really nice. It does. Now that's not a way they can buy it from you guys directly. You have to go somewhere else. No, the grips are else. specifically uh, an accessory, but you okay. can buy them on our website. So for those of you who like the nickel plated sissy pistols, you guys have that <laughs> now available from the factory. And I'm not going to lie, it looks really, really nice in hand. And um, we may, I don't know if you guys have a gray frame one here. But we do, the, we the, do down here. The gray frame is kind of like a I want to say a more tactical version of the nickel plating where it's a little bit more subdued so it's not as yes. you know shiny um, but you still get that look yes. which is very appealing it's an anodized color versus a pv a nickel coating perfect so we'll take a look at those later um, but the, as far as the compacts go 15 plus one correct yes and we do sell 17 plus one adapter mag so you okay. get that full size grip in the compact pistol. right and again so for those of you who like to conceal compact. carry and you want to keep that grip length short the compact is definitely the way to look um, again, that 15 plus one, you can use the bigger mags if you want. Even the 20 round tactical mags will fit in the 15 plus one compacts, they right? They will, it, all mags are interchangeable. Yeah, so if you want to carry a bigger backup one, you're good to go and still keep the flush fit 15 round one for concealed carry or you know having it on your hip, whatever feels most comfortable for you. And this, you know, we're showing this at the show, it's still a few months out for sale, tactical compact. You know, all the benefits of the full side tactical mm -hmm. with the smaller frame, smaller barrel. Right. So, you know, I got smaller hands, you know, Whopper Jr. hands or Donald Trump hands, whatever you want to call them. So for me, I like the more compact style. Um, I'm a big Glock 19 fan. And I, seeing that they're bringing the tactical model where it's suppressor ready, suppressor height sights, optics ready, seeing that more compact size with still those tactical features is going to be really nice for a lot of people who like that more compact size. But again, you still have the option of using those larger mags if you want the added capacity. Absolutely, yes. Um, 
Well, awesome. So we're going to now move over and talk about their full size and hopefully their uh, compact and the new Alpha as well. Absolutely. Yes. All right. So now we are looking at the Tactical models and the new Alpha. So first, I'll tantalize you with the prospect of looking at the Alphas in a second. Talk to us a little bit about the Tactical models you guys do. Uh, the Tactical, it's, it's the same frame as the standard size, but what they've done on the Tactical model is it comes with a threaded barrel, suppressor height sights, mm -hmm and a cover plate, but it also comes with four pre-cut RMR mounts that'll hold two different optics. Yeah, yeah, and um, like I said earlier, I'm currently testing one of these out. I don't know when these videos are gonna come out, but I've been working on a review of a Griffin uh, Optimus silencer, and I've been shooting it on a lot of nine millimeter handguns, my Glock 19, Glock uh, 34, SIG 226, and the Rex-01 Tactical, and um, you'll see it in that video, but my friend and I agree who are shooting them. Of those handguns, the Rex-01 Tactical felt like the best suppressor host. Yeah, this is the gray one. Oh yeah, so yeah. yeah, this is the exact look of the one I have. I'll probably get a close-up shot so you guys can see it better. But again, like I said earlier, it's like that tactical nickel plated where it's that more subdued, it's not gonna be all shiny and flashy, exactly. but you still get that nice two-tone look that I know a lot of people like, myself included. Um, and again, you get the threaded barrel that comes from the factory. The optics ready, which as you said, you got the four mounts. So um, I'm hopefully gonna be shooting it uh, with a red dot on it at some point. Suppressor height sights, um, and then everything else that's good about these, the, being able to carry it cocked and locked. The 220 round mags. 220 round mags. Um, I, there's again, a lot to like with these tactical models. So again, for those of you who like running suppressed, you wanna be able to run that red dot straight from the factory without having to do a bunch of milling and send it out. This is definitely the way to look. And as you said, same frame size as the S models, just with the added benefits just of the Just a different tactics. slide on top. Yes, and the MSRP on that standard is 869. 869. Yep. And so if you, if you like the size of it, but you don't need the threaded barrel, you don't need the suppressor height sights, by all means, look at the standard models. But uh, I think if you get the standard and you've been contemplating doing this, you're gonna be disappointed you didn't go with one of these, but you can make that decision for yourself. So now that we've looked at these, tell me about the Alpha. The Alpha, uh, we just released it here at SHOT Show. It is an out-of-the-box competition-ready pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, they it's IPSC ready right now. They've redesigned a few things on it. Uh, it does still take the same Rex-01 mags. Mm -hmm. It's a full steel frame. Mm -hmm. They've got a CNC uh, flared magwell, a redesigned grip, okay. aggressive checkering on the front. They have an extended uh, mag release. Now the extension can be moved on either side. It's okay. ambi. This model does not have a decocker. Okay. okay. But it is still double and single action. Okay. Uh, oversized safety that you can actually ride on. Uh, mm -hmm. Extended beaver tail, lightning cuts. These lightning cuts are specifically just for slide movement to make it faster on a five inch barrel, red fiber optic front and fully adjustable rear sights that are black. That's awesome. So. so Oh, go ahead. Uh, trigger guard redesigned also, and they've got a trigger pull of 8.8 .8 pounds, a two millimeter reset down to 3.3 .3 pounds. That's nice. So um, one thing I want to mention real quick, as you were saying, the extended mag release can be swapped from one side to the other. I want to mention that a lot of companies say they have an ambi magazine release. And what that means is you can make it either left-handed or right-handed. This one, it's ambi from the factory, whether you go right-hand or left-hand, you just push that button and it, it'll drop out, which is a really cool yeah, thing. Um, so again, if for those of you competitors, you guys, you three gunners out there, um, this is probably gonna be the way you wanna look. I'm assuming most three gunners probably wanna carry it single action anyway, so cocked and locked. So not having that decocker is not gonna be a deal breaker, I would assume. Right. Having the extended uh, safeties on both sides. So again, you have the ambi mag release and the ambi uh, safety. So. I know some three gun competitions or other shooting competitions, they like to add extra stuff like having to shoot offhand and all that. Right. You're at no disadvantage with this. And again, it comes from the factory like this. So again, instead of having to send it out, get it all milled out, get all these accessories thrown on and having to spend a bunch of your own time doing that, this comes ready for you. Adjustable sights, as you said. Um, it definitely feels very, very solid, which is definitely gonna help when uh, with the mitigation of recoil. Having that extended beaver tail means you can get really high up on that grip tank. Again, helping to absorb that recoil and uh, good biomechanics. And it just looks good. Yeah. And still with a frame mount of safety, you've still got full slide function, even right. with the safety on. And again, that's one of those nice things because 
I don't necessarily like it, but the way you have to show clear and empty and all that, being able to manipulate it still with that safety on is going to make a lot of people um, a little bit more, you know, happy, I guess, for lack of a better word. And as you can see, different grip colors. Uh, this one is actually aluminum. Okay. Uh, red anodized. They've got uh, red, blue, silver, gold, black. So just a different option. Awesome. Uh, and when are these going to be hitting the market? Now. Right uh, now. Base model 1099 MSRP. Okay. So again, for those of you guys who are competitors out there who really like the, uh, the double action, single action, or even just running it cocked and locked, with still the ergonomics, the benefits of the uh, not having the slide lock in a place where your thumb's going to ride on it, it's 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 a really good option for you guys. Yeah, a great entry level race gun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, really quick, I just want to briefly mention. I already mentioned that uh, Military Arms Channel did a great torture test on the Rex Zero One S model, I believe it was when he did yes, that first one. He did. Um, but very recently, he actually went out over to Slovenia to yes. go tour the Arex factory. And uh, really, really excellent video. It goes super in depth into the quality control that goes into it, the attention to detail that goes into it. Um, and it was really impressive to me um, seeing what the process is and just the care that they put into those guns over in Slovenia when they're putting these things together. Yeah, that was a media trip. We had five media personnel over from different parts. You know, we had mm -hmm. uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, hard print, uh, blogs, and it basically was a private tour, a custom tour to to do exactly what you said, show yeah. people behind the scenes the quality that's put into these. Right, and I don't know if you can see it, but behind us, the Polinar Tactical video of the, the factory and kind of the really beautiful and artistic video of seeing them being made yes. was what kind of got me into it in the first place. And then just seeing, again, more in depth with more detail, the process, the attention to detail, the way everything is tracked from beginning to end. They have a birth certificate for every pistol, basically. Um, really, really impressive. So I'll have that linked below. Um, yeah, and. Uh, one thing, you know, it doesn't get said enough, the amount of times these are fired before they leave. They do test firing on this. So they'll do two 30% over SAMI pressure rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll do two full mags mm -hmm. at different angles. Then they'll do 10 zeroing rounds for every single item that leaves the factory. Yeah, and that's uh, something that I can tell other guns I've bought in the past did not happen because right out of the box, it didn't want to fire or work for me. You guys may have seen a video about that recently, but uh, Seeing the process that these guys do before these even leave the factory uh, just gives me a lot of confidence in, in the quality and the, just the amount of trust that they have in their own products. So if people want to know more about the product line, A-Rex or Fime Group, where can they look? Uh, FimeGroup.com, F-I-M-E group.com. Mm -hmm. And you guys are the importers for the a We are the exclusive importer for the U.S. for them. Awesome. So you guys can see their full product line up there. Down below, I'll put a link to their social media pages, as well as some of the videos that I've mentioned, the torture test, the one behind us from Polar Tactical, and uh, the factory tour. I really encourage you guys to check it out. And uh, I mean, for me, it went a long way in just showing that the confidence that the company has in these products goes a long way for me feeling comfortable as a consumer who wanted to buy it. And as I said, I bought, spent my own money and got my first A-Rex and I've been testing them out and I've been really happy with them so far. Um, anything else you want to add? No, I think we're good on that. Awesome. Yeah. So again, check them out. Stay tuned soon for the A-Rex uh, 01 Tactical that I'll be reviewing. You guys will see that in the silencer reviews as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more coverage from SHOT Show 2018, so stay tuned and watch for those as they kind of trickle out as I get time to edit with all the stuff I got going on. But, Ryan, thanks very much thanks. for talking to us. Thanks, Ryan. As always, I hope you got something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching.